In this example, we're given a system of linear equations, and we want to write the coefficient matrix for this system. And remember, a coefficient matrix is simply a matrix of only the coefficient. So the left-hand side, which is all of this, includes all of the unknown variables as well as their coefficients. And on the right-hand side, we have all these constant terms. So in an augmented matrix, we would include both sides of these equations, but in a coefficient matrix, we only include the left-hand side. And remember, a coefficient matrix is a matrix of numbers that correspond to the coefficients of all the unknown variables. So here we have three equations, and we have three unknown variables, x, y, and z. So we know our coefficient matrix is going to be a three by three matrix. The rows correspond to the number of equations and the columns correspond to the number of unknown variables. So since we have three equations, we're gonna have three rows. And since we have three unknown variables, we're gonna have three columns. So let's actually set that up. We're gonna have this matrix here and I'm gonna make it big so we can write all the numbers in it. It's going to have one, two, three rows, which corresponds to the three equations here. And it's going to have one, two, three columns, which corresponds to the unknown variables here. So our one, one element, which is this element right here, is gonna be the number in the first row which is the first equation, and the first unknown variable, which is x. So the first equation is right here, right? And the coefficient for the x term is this 2. So that 2 is going to go right here. Well, how about the 2, 1 element, row 2, column 1? Well, row 2 corresponds to equation 2, which is equation 2 is right there. And our first column corresponds to the coefficient of the x term. Well, the coefficient of the x term is this negative 1, right? So we're going to put negative 1 here. And finally, what about our element 3, 1? Well, three corresponds to equation three, and one corresponds to the unknown variable x. So the coefficient for the x term in the third equation is six. All right, let's move on to element one, two, which is this one right here. Well, one corresponds to equation one, which is this equation right here, and two corresponds to the unknown variable y, our second unknown variable, right? So in our first equation, the coefficient for the y term is four. So we're gonna put four right there. How about the two, two element, which is this element right here? Two corresponds to the second equation, and this two corresponds to the y term coefficient, which is this coefficient right here. And that's negative one. How about three, two term, which is this one? Well, three corresponds to the equation or the row, and the two corresponds to the unknown variable y. So the coefficient for the y term in equation three is two. How about for the one, three element? Well, one refers to equation one, and three refers to the unknown variable z. So the coefficient for the z term in the first equation is this right here, negative six. How about the two, three term? Well, two corresponds to the second equation, right? And three corresponds to z. So the coefficient in the second equation for the z term is this one right here. So that's positive two, right? And finally, our last element, which is three, three element, that corresponds to the z coefficient in the third equation, which is this one right here. So that's negative one. So great, we figured out what our coefficient matrix is. And I'll just rewrite it here in a little bit more cleaner way. It's two, negative one, six, four, negative one, two, negative six, two, negative one. That's our coefficient matrix for this system of linear equations.